Welcome to eMedicore Patient's Corner Series. This presentation is to show you how to remove your Foley catheter yourself. First, let's take a look at the parts of a Foley catheter. First, the Foley catheter is comprised of a urine drainage port, which allows the urine to drain into a bag. This is the balloon inflation port, which allows for the inflation of the retention balloon. This is the retention balloon, and this is the eye or opening of the catheter. Let's take a look at how the Foley catheter works. The Foley catheter is placed inside the bladder. The retention balloon prevents the Foley catheter from moving out of place. The eye allows the urine to drain. The urine passes through the tube and into a bag attached to your leg, known as a urinary drainage bag. Now let's take a look at how to remove that Foley catheter yourself. First, ask permission from your physician before trying this at home. Once you have received approval, get together paper towels to absorb the water that will come out from the balloon port. Normally, when removing your Foley catheter, your doctor will use a syringe to deflate the balloon. However, when removing the Foley yourself, without a syringe, water from the balloon may splatter. Be sure to be seated to prevent yourself from falling or getting hurt. Sitting in the bathtub or shower can be helpful. You can use a pair of scissors, paper clip, or a cut Q-tip to deflate the balloon. Locate the balloon port. The balloon port is identified by the colored tip with a number followed by the French unit FR. If you are using scissors, cut the portions of the balloon port behind the colored valve. Here is an example of how to cut the balloon port. The alternative technique is the paperclip or Q-tip method. With the pointed tip of a paperclip or a cut Q-tip, push while continually adding pressure on the rubber port inside the colored valve. At this point, you should see water drain from the catheter. This is water and not urine. Be sure to push on the rubber port repeatedly to make sure all water is drained before moving on. Once all the fluid is drained, slowly and steadily take out the catheter. If you are feeling discomfort, softly, repeatedly cough while counting in your head the number of coughs. If you are having trouble removing the Foley catheter yourself, please consult your doctor immediately. eMedicore, core medical education. For everyone. From everywhere. Forever free.